my name is Galileo Jun Destura, and I do the sales uh, for Asia Pacific for the U1. Typical day in Asia Pacific would basically be calling customers and discussing with uh, our support team with regards to things that needs to be done uh, for the week uh, for the customers. It is more akin to a touchscreen experience, uh, so we call it more a remote touch rather than more a mouse experience. Uh, and in that way, uh, it enhances more the value of the product by being perceived either the TV or set box is more intuitive and easier to use uh, and natural. So Philips uh, has a good culture with regards to innovation uh, in a way that uh, people uh, in the in innovation, uh, in the research area are, aside from their uh, regular task in terms of doing certain assigned things for the year or for a certain amount of time, it's also given a way in terms of exploring new things. Um, and then the question pops up is that, hey, would you be happy with your up, down, left, right remote control with hundreds of buttons? Or would you need something else that will be the more dynamic uh, in terms of interaction and uh, simplifying the user interface that's uh, shown to you? Because it's not just changing the channel or changing the volume, it's more. And uh, that's why we started with the U1. We intend to transform the TV. Uh, into a platform that you can enjoy much better than what it was before. And as a process of it, and as a consequence of it, um, you have to enable the remote. The TV is going to change in the future. Uh, you're not just going to watch the linear TV, so they call where in, you know, you just look and see what's happening at that moment towards something more of interactive TV. And we see enablers there with regards to, first of all, the internet connectivity that is going to your house in terms of bandwidth going up. And at the same time, also the processing power that is slowly increasing in to your TV. So those are the enablers that we see that will be transforming the TV industry. And that is what we see right now. Well, the existing control devices is basically um, uh, suited towards a, a limited function, a matter of function. And what you tend to see is that, well, first of all, uh, if you look at the very old TVs, they started as a simple remote control, a few buttons actually out there, and the function of the TV is then simple as well. Uh, it gradually evolved towards a point that every time there's a new feature that's being introduced, so they speak, um, then you add another button towards a point that then the remote control becomes, you know, too much clumps uh, out of buttons. and at the end, even though there's a lot of features in your TV, you don't use it because you don't know which one to press to get to what. Uh, so that becomes a challenge then because then you're trying to add value into your TV and you're trying to show it to users that there's more things that can be done to a TV or set up box. Um, but nobody uses it. It's too com com complicated and clumsy. Not to mention that if you're looking at uh, from a game perspective that you want also people if they couldn't find any videos to watch that they can play certain games, how which button to press, what to do what. 